So welcome back to the Mooney Mustang, as you can see here. Mooney Mustang. Let's give you a nice view of that. Old style, original paint. As you can see, it needs to be fixed at some point. Anyway, today we're here, or I'm here, but we're all here together because I bought some uh, replacements for the light bulbs. So simple job. I will be replacing the light bulbs so that they draw less current because I was getting a problem. They were drawing too much current and it was tripping the circuit to which the tail beacon, the U avionics tail beacon is connected to. So if the circuit would break, ADSB would stop working. So we need to fix that. Not a high priority, but uh, I'm here at the airport and I figured I'd make myself useful. So I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna unscrew this. We're not gonna use the red lens cover because I think these bulbs are naturally, um, are colored green or red. Yeah, this one's a green one. So we'll use that on the other side. And, um, and this one is the red one. So let's check that out. Bought it from Spruce. And you can see that the bulb looks like it would be a good fit. And presumably these LEDs will shine red. Um, so we'll find that out here shortly. We're going to unscrew this. I like electric screwdrivers. They're not very powerful, but they, you don't want them to be because you don't want them to strip the screws. And you got to be careful with this. This is made of glass. So you don't want to drop it. So put it safely somewhere over here. And you can see that there's different components. These screws, the lens cover for the strobe, which is maybe something I'll replace too, because it's kind of all yellowed out, weathered. The strobe isn't working, but I'm not sure if it's the bulb or something else. So strobes will be in a future episode where I'm trying to get those working. These screws actually, or this one in particular, um, are what ground, provide the ground for the um, bulb. So, got that all figured out. Pull this out. And so we're going to replace it with the red one, which is this one. So let's get the old bulb out, because you never, you never know until you, you succeed if it's going to be the right part number or not. So All right. I don't know if I needed to do that. We'll see here. And of course we want the bulb to face forward because that's how these things work. Your red and green face forward and your light white tail light faces backwards. And that's coming out. All right. So that's what the original one looks like. And I think one of these was misbehaving and drawing too much current. And I like the idea of LEDs anyway, because they last forever. And since I need to work on the airplane and stay busy, why don't I do some preventative maintenance by installing LED bulbs? So that's what I'm doing today. And then we'll test it to see if it works. So there's a certain way that this threads in. And hopefully we have the right bulb. There we go. Pointed forward. Put that here. All right, nice and tight. Everything seems good. So we're going to need to ground this. So it's not going to work unless I connect it with a screw to the fuselage. So let's put one screw back in and then go test.
All right. So here I go. I'm going to go turn the battery on and um, turn the nav lights on. Okay, so I'm going to put the battery on. And now we're going to put the nav lights on. And the nav lights are, sorry, wrong, <laughs> wrong switch. Battery on, nav lights on. Can you check that left nav light, this, the left one? Yeah, right. Maybe see the red? Yeah, oh nice, yeah, cool, so that worked. Great, so this is pretty cool. Let's see if it's the right size, it should be. Yeah, it's the right size. Cool beans. And since it's plastic, it'd be cheaper to replace if I break it. That's a different size. So let's put that back on like that. Cool. Very nice. And we're in for a treat. One done. I'll do one more in a bit. Let's transition to a, the breaker popped. So it's still the right hand side one that's that's the problem. So the reason I'm replacing the light bulbs is because the circuit was was breaking. It's a five amp circuit. And it's triggering the breaker, which is a switch. It's a breaker switch. And this is very hot. And, I, and definitely not the left one. It was obviously this right one. So hopefully when we replace this bulb, it shouldn't trip anymore for whatever reason is the circuit's using up more current than it's supposed to. So let's find out. Just take the bulb out. It's in my pocket. So let's see if this solves the problem. I've got like 10 or 20 people online that are like egging me on to make more frequent videos about improvements to this airplane. I've never experienced that before. So I'm, I'm, I have to keep up with them. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, I've been to Oshkosh many times, and uh, I've never seen one there. Well, like I said, there's only three of them in the whole world that's behind me. Yeah. If I were you, I'd find another one that is uh, in pieces and get some parts off. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking of something a little bit more ambitious too. What's that? Like, um, 
switching out the engine for a more modern uh, engine. There's a couple of them that have uh, basically switched to the 380 horsepower Duke engine. And in doing so, they picked up an extra 70 horsepower. And then, and then it would be like a 250 knot airplane. But I'm not there yet. Let's get this one back in the air first. Oh. There's, I see that there's an O-ring missing here. Well, here it is. And that's because of the heat. So it's heating up too much. So let's take this O-ring off. Pretty bad. So we want to do this. So. Let's get back to the lights. Now that the lights have been changed, it's on good, solid, should be grounded. So let's go switch on those lights. All right, battery power on, and have lights on. So, Running on this circuit is two LED lights for the navs, plus the tail beacon here, which you can see, which is running. And that's not too hot. Let's go check the right hand nav light. You can already see it's nice and green there. Perfect. That's a pretty color. Nowhere near as hot. Nice. Let's go see over here. Yeah, that was an easy job. So now, the moment of truth is how long is it going to go without tripping the breaker and we can see the tail lights on and they're not supposed to draw too much current. So, actually that was so easy, gentlemen, and the ladies out there, that uh, for $75, for the two white and uh, red and green ones, definitely worth it. Already feels like a huge improvement to the airplane. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow, it's pretty bright, nice. These small things, little baby steps. All right, while we wait to see if that's going to trip the breaker or not, uh, let's go take a look at the starter. The starter is pretty dirty. You can see the, uh, the dirt here. Dirt rust combo. Try and clean that up. Um, yeah. We can use some compressed air. Let's try that. All right, the lights are still working. It's not breaking. 